Chief Juvenal, community reporter. Over the road from what was the Free Trade Hall is now the Radisson Hotel. And if that doesn't say more about modern society, I don't know what does. To celebrate the 192nd anniversary of the Peterloo Massacre, which is today on the 16th of August. Can I just say welcome to everyone, especially welcome to the Lord Mayor and the people who have gathered here today. I'm sure we're here with one common ground and one common belief that we believe in the principles of democracy that were fought for on this site in 1819. That the history from that day, we had the lecture from Tristan Hunt on Friday, who, who gave a very good indication that what the events, what took place here on this day has reverberated not only through England, through Britain, but right across the world. And today we see in North Africa, South America, the Far East, where people are fighting for the very, very same things that were fought for and demanded on this day. Now, I believe Chris is going to read through the names of the people who fell on that day as a result of the charge of the powers that be, the state, as they charged down upon innocent people demanding the rights that we have now enjoyed in the United Kingdom. Chris. It's, uh, John Ashton from near Oldham. Sabred. William Bradshaw from Whitefield, shot. Thomas Buckley from Chariton, sabred and bayoneted. James Crompton, Barton, trampled by the cavalry. Edmund Dawson, Saddleworth, sabred. William Dawson, Saddleworth, sabred. Margaret Downs from Manchester, sabred. William Files from Manchester, trampled by the cavalry. Mary Hayes from Charlton Row, trampled by the cavalry. Sarah Jones, Manchester, truncheon. John Lees, Oldham, sabred and truncheoned. Arthur Neal, Manchester, truncheoned and crushed. Martha Partington, Barton, crushed in cellar. John Rhodes, near Oldham, sabred. Joshua Whitworth, Hyde, shot. Thank you, Chris. That's a, a reminder that in the struggle for democracy that lives have been lost. And maybe we want to spend just a few moments remembering those people and all the people across the world who've died in their struggle for democracy, for the rights for, to be represented, to be able to organise as trade unions and to be have their voices heard. We take a few moments to recall and remember those people who have given their lives. Thank you. Can I now ask the Lord Mayor to place a wreath below the plaque here on behalf of the City Council and the citizens of Manchester. Lord Mayor. Finally, just to remind people that a whole series of events this year commemorating Peterloo, and I think it's important that as every year goes by now, more and more people are connecting with this history, understanding our past, and relating that, how significant the events that took place on this day in 1819, those years ago, how significant they are across the world. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Comrades, thank you very much for being here this morning. Hope to see you next year. Thank you.
we're here today anyway, it's the uh, 192nd anniversary of the Peterloo Massacre uh, and uh, you're here in, a, in the, an official capacity as, as Mayor of no, no, Manchester. No. I mean my role obviously as Lord Mayor of Manchester is to represent Manchester, the city, in all its aspects and to promote the city as well. That, that, that's the main function of a Lord Mayor. Uh, and it's very easy to do in Manchester with so many things that uh, have taken place here for the first time and so many people from so many countries in the world have arrived here and we feel up until fairly recently that everything was fairly homogenous and people were getting on with one another, very little conflict around considering all the different languages, the different cultures and traditions. But here we are today at this, this commemoration of, of the Peterloo Massacre, which was a, a massive thing in history and really changed the whole parliamentary system. I know it didn't change for another uh, 15 or 16 years until after the event, but it did change. And that change has led to our current state of affairs and the way we manage ourselves and the way people, by and large, now have the vote. What, what do you think people back then would make of the current state of affairs, though? I, I think it's a different world. I think people who visited Manchester 30 years ago wouldn't recognise the place now. And, and that's what happens in life. Everything changes, everything kind of moves along, language changes, uh, the whole thing. So the way we live now would not be recognisable. And I, some of it, much of it is for the better. Some of it, people would argue, is not. But um, you have the bad and the good in all aspects of life.